to understand that no one can take away your happiness. You have to understand that you deserve to be loved. No one has the power to tell you that you're not enough or feel like even when, you know, when you, when y'all break up, like I seen a TikTok saying like people literally show their ass on the last day and me, I was just being chill like, okay, I'm over it because I kept waiting and it was hard for me to accept and I had to accept it. And, um, sometimes it's cool when you're on a roller coaster time after again. Like, say you went on it a thousand times. But when you go on a thousand thirty, you get a little sick of it. And no one should have the power to tell you you shouldn't be happy. Like, why be miserable with somebody just because they didn't want you to be happy with somebody else? Or be happy alone and they know that the thing is like this woman said she's making money off it too because it makes sense she's like men are great liars they just know they will never confront you about the truth that's one of their games you have to know that you the prize you have to know that you will survive without him you know, like this guy said, like, you calling this man, you love him, and your hair and nails are not done, and you need to feed you, and you love him? You gotta understand attachment issues, abandonment issues. You have to see what issue you have, codependent issues, you know? Because if you don't look at your issues and self-reflect, you're gonna keep finding the same person over and over and over again and it's not your job to fix people because sometimes when people find a rare person like you and they can't destroy it they feel so embarrassed and mad because they show their ass and they didn't know how valuable you are and now they're trying to find something close to you like that and we all hope they find the best but I did tell people, if you don't heal from your stuff, you're going to get yourself in situations where a lot of time men like to not think. And where did I get them in trouble? Getting in situations where now they are a new father. And one of my old situations I used to be in um, is a new father. Likes that I didn't judge him. And even, I don't I don't think JoJo remember this conversation he, that he had with me, but I'm gonna keep it PG. Like, I just made him feel wholesome. Like, bro, you got that hustle in you. You're not gonna fail. This is not gonna be the end of you just because you're a new father. You know, we all live and we learn. And sometimes, like people like to say, a hard head make a soft ass. You know, sometimes people try to make it seem like you trying to bring somebody down and it's sad like how you could be in love with someone and not until you move in with them or you be around them for years that this is who they are and they're comfortable being you know the bare minimum because just because I met you when you was not financially ready doesn't mean I was okay with the bare minimum I was going with the flow because I couldn't change anything, you know? I could only work on me, you work on you, and we love each other, but somebody wanted to be twisted, you know? So, you have to understand your worth, and you are worth more than that. Like, I have so many comments, over like a thousand, I just got off TikTok, where like, you deserve the best, I'm gonna tell you you deserve the best. Okay. Spend time alone. Be single for a year. Let's be like these men where they be lying, saying they be single for five years, child. Be single for a good moment, a good time. Enjoy it. Enjoy your own company. I promise you, you be single after a year, you're gonna be like how I am, where I've been living on my own. I like my own company. 
you know, you have to be a very special person to match my energy. Because I don't like anybody just around me. Okay? And I definitely don't like none of them vampires. Like, as you talk to them, they're, like, draining you as you talk. Like, that's that's somebody, um, I'd say demonic, evil. They don't worship God. They hold, you don't know what they be doing. Like, they probably be doing love spells, too. The yes, you care behind. Anywho. But yeah, I get the message, okay? I may not be wizards, but... I feel like there's nice people like where's the lids Jada is saying this is just enough information that somebody needs because I'm glad he talked to me because it's like I don't really want you to judge you I will tell you everything you need to get done everything you need to do so you can be prepared because it's better to be prepared than not be prepared so y'all like comment and subscribe and girl, you deserve it. You are worth it. I've been in situations where someone paid the rent, someone did this, went all in above, but it's the ego of the man mind where I'm telling them what's right. And in life, you gotta be with someone and take your time to see if they can handle change, if they're okay with. You gotta see them broke. You gotta see them unhappy. You gotta see them because if shit hit the fan and you're the only one solving the problems, is that what you want to deal with in a marriage? That is all on you. That's a lot of pressure. You know, it has to be compromised. It has to be equal. Just remember that. Okay. That's one thing I love about it. I give out the best advice. And now it's time for me to take my advice too. And I did. And I did. And I love that for me. Moving forward. Guy this in. Do you know how dumb a guy sounds saying that if I don't sleep with you? It sounds like he's entitled. It sounds like he just don't want nothing longevity. Sounds like you just want your body. A lot of people, I love poor minds. I really do. But one thing I didn't like is that some people is like saying like, fuck it. Like, okay, yeah, I understand you only live once. And I'm not going to understand you as a person on like watching your show. But for ladies, you're not the street. There's nothing wrong having self-respect and not sleeping with anybody until like you're ready get only asleep with them on a first date second week at least give them two months because people have breaking points and when when it comes to breaking points this is a free game you get to see their true character is they gonna raise their tone is they gonna get disrespectful is they gonna lose interest are they talking to somebody else do they really want something serious with you all these are questions your women intuition is going to tell you Especially if you're a good actor through the phone. You will know. Okay? You be rushing to give your body to somebody that just want to smash because you got a pretty face to boost their self-esteem. You do know a lot of these men don't have a lot of self-esteem. And there's men making TikTok saying this. Honestly. They say it really don't, it don't really take much to win them over. You feel me? Even when you... Do the whole nine yards. You shouldn't be paying no man bill. Like Tiana Taylor's husband said. Like a man wouldn't want you for paying no bills. You feel me? Get to the point and get to the root of your problems. And understand that even if you fix this man up. Who cares if he's going to give the whole lifestyle to the woman. Because guess what? You was still the basic of why he is doing everything that he's doing. If it wasn't for you. Your kind heart. Doing X, Y, and Z. Come on now. Will he be where he's at right now? Exactly. Okay. I need you to get your head in the game. Get you, get you, get you your head in the game like High School Musical. Okay, but this ain't High School Musical. This is real fucking life. Okay? I don't want y'all ladies doing some crazy ass shit. Let them earn you. That's what I've been watching lately. Scan scandal. I love when she said that to him. Earn me. I'm not a toy that you could just pick up when you're bored and horny. Like, comment, subscribe if you agree. 
Thank you for watching.